Hey guys, we're so excited you signed up for your first class at B-Tone. Before you come in, we just want to give you a quick overview of how things are going to go and about the machine so you can get started right when you get here. Before you do come to your class, it is a good idea to come at least five minutes early. Mention to your trainer that you're new, um, even if you've been here for a different type of class so that we know we can give you the full tutorial and set you up for success once you get here. And definitely be sure to mention if you have any injuries that we should know about. So the majority of our classes here at B-Tone are the tone classes, and that's done on this fancy piece of equipment. It's called the Megaformer. When you come in, just kind of, there might be a red pole up on your machine. This is just to use for balance support when you're standing off the front of the machine. When you're not using it, it's just a good idea to put it right next to the carriage so that you don't trip on it later. When you come, so the middle part of the machine is the carriage. This is what slides back and forth. And there's a base. There's a front platform and a rear platform. So to change the resistance here, you would basically change your springs. That's one option. To change the springs, you lift up your front platform, push it forward. It can be done from any position. And then the springs are at the front, and they just load right from the tabs on the front. Your teacher is going to be telling you what your spring load should be and give you a variety of options, depending on if you want more support or less. But there are four yellow springs. They just go straight forward. There's a black spring. And then you'll notice a big blue spring for when we're doing some big pushing exercises. Try to follow along with what your teacher recommends. And then outside of that, if there's anything that feels like it's too hard or too easy, you're going to be changing your body position, whether it's your hands, your knees, your feet, and that will help you to change the resistance as well. Just be sure to close that platform when you're done, because when it's open, it is wobbly. That's kind of that cue to make sure it's in that closed position. So there are handlebars that are off the front and the rear of the machine. They move around for different hand positions and depending on the exercise for what we need. To move them, you just lift them up and drop them down in every 90 degree angle. If you ever want to tilt them back down to a lowered position, then you just lift them both up at the same time so it unlocks and you push them forward and just give them a little jiggle to make sure they're in place. Your teachers are typically going to make all these changes for you in a class to keep things moving really smoothly, but just in case you know how to do it. There is a bungee cord that is hanging usually off the front of your machine. Sometimes it might be up in your handle when you get to class. It comes right from the back and it typically just goes right around one of your feet and you press it up for this. This is kind of one of those signature moves of B-Tone that you will learn to love or hate. On the carriage, there are different numbers and lines. That's just kind of a helpful indicator of where to put your body. So we might say, try your hands on line one, try your hands on line two for different options, whether you want things a little easier or a little harder. We also like people to use this platform bar. There's one off the front and one off the back of the machine. It's a great spot to modify. You just tuck your toes on it. If we're doing any plank positions, you would just take your feet there. That way, if you have to modify down to your knees, you have that position readily available for you. But you typically see people doing these exercises from that front platform. Whenever you're going to go to the back of the machine from the front, the best way to do that, there are some holes in the back of the carriage. Just bring your knees to those holes. You're going to grab the side rails and just gently pull yourself to the back of the machine. There are some black straps that are typically hanging from the edges of your carriage, but they may be on the floor by the time you're ready to use them. The short straps on those handles are for the hands. So they go on your hands. The long straps are the foot straps, and those go around your feet for any kind of leg work or core work they might be doing with these straps. If for any reason they feel a little uneven, just give a check to make sure nothing's kind of stuck up where it shouldn't be. And if you feel a little uneven from there, just kind of give a little fiddle to these black parts and everything will feel secure. Whenever you're using these straps, you just want to make sure to go really slowly and that the same tension stays on the straps at all times. If you pull too fast and let go, you're going to feel a little unsteady. So it's just another reminder to keep your core really tight. Whenever you're done with those, you can just throw them wherever. Typically, you like to put them right in the middle of the machine just so you don't trip on it later. Welcome to the back of the machine. There's another set of handles off the back, the red handles. So they're just usually hanging from your back platform, and they're really for support during leg work, but we do sometimes use them for some core work or arm work off the back. But typically, if we're doing a lunge standing up off the back, you use them to pull the carriage to you, get into your exercise really carefully, and the straps stay nice and smooth and steady, and are just acting like a sport, like someone's almost holding your hands, so you can kind of not have to worry so much about your balance. And you use those again to kind of safely get in and out of those exercises. 
off the back platform. Sometimes we'll do some core exercises from the rear. There is a black strap that kind of connects from the bottom. It's right off the floor. You don't need to do any changes to it. You can kind of move it closer to your body or further away. And you just hook your foot under there. We'll do some crunches from the side there, maybe even facing the front. There's also a set of hand weights that are underneath your carriage in case you want to add in any extra arm work while you're doing any of your core or leg work. So now that you've gotten a whole overview of the machine, just be sure to show up a little early. We'll go over all of that again so you can see it, feel it, and feel really comfortable about to start your class. The classes are 45 minutes. We're going to set you up somewhere in the middle of the room. That way you're going to have people beside you that maybe have been coming for years and you kind of look to them. You're going to focus on three areas of the body. You'll have an arm section, a leg section, and a core section. You have no idea what you're going to get when you come in. We change the order every day. The classes are never the same. So you're not going to get bored in that way and you will start to pick up what some of the exercises are and the ease of transition will begin to happen. So you'll spend a little longer in each of your exercises and get a little more out of class each time that you come. Just don't get frustrated the first five to ten classes that you come because it is a lot to take in. We are cueing to you the beginner. So just be sure to listen up. We're going to give very quick, clear, concise directions. We really want the focus to be constant movement while you're here in your classes. So take those supports that you need. Teachers are constantly going to be telling you modifications, ways to make it easier. Don't feel like you can't take those. Those are meant to be taken for a reason. It's better to take those modifications and keep moving the whole class than to have to keep stopping over and over and over again. So make sure you listen to your body. That is the most important thing. And do mention to your teacher if you have any injuries because we'll be able to give you a little extra support if we know something ahead of time. We're going to keep you working for the full 45 minutes. At the end of the class, the teacher may lead a nice quick stretch. We don't stop for stretching throughout the class, but of course if you need any breaks or stretches, definitely take them. You're going to be pretty sore after your first few classes. Just make sure you give yourself enough time to repair those muscles to really get the benefit of what you're doing here and to be able to really push it again the next time you come. We can't wait to see you for your first class. And who knows, maybe in like a few months, you'll be the one teaching the newbie next to you all the exercises.